time for Nerdgasm. Hey, what's up, guys? Jerry here, a.k.a. Barnacles, and today we're going to be talking about the topic of... Porn. Now, more specifically, we're going to be talking about the massive influx of porn spam bots on the Twitter social media platform and what we can do as a community to fight back. Now, currently, Twitter is having a hard time shutting down these bot networks because they're literally creating accounts as fast as Twitter can find them and delete them. So there is no way that Twitter can get ahead of the game. Unfortunately, Twitter lets anybody create an account with just an email address, and there are a number of scripts out there that will rapidly generate fake email addresses. So this makes Twitter incredibly vulnerable just from an architectural standpoint. Now, you might be thinking that you're actually helping the problem by right-clicking on these porn spam accounts and saying block, or right-clicking on them and say report them for spam. The truth is you're just wasting your time because even if you report them for spam and Twitter does delete them, there will be a hundred new accounts in its place before that action completes. Now the only real way to fight back against these porn spam bots is to hit them where it hurts and that's the wallet. And the way we're going to do that is in this video I'm going to show you how to actually track and get through all of the little red tape trail that they put in place so that you can actually report their referral to the company that's paying them so the company will freeze their assets and delete their account. Now, if enough of you guys do this on enough of the spam bots, ultimately all of their accounts are gonna be deleted and they're no longer going to be receiving revenue from these companies, which means now the bot network is actually costing them bandwidth and money. All right, guys, sit tight. I'm gonna take you step by step on the process you need to use to take these porn spammers down for good. All right, so for the purposes of this video, I'm using the Chrome browser. It's my preferred browser, but you can use any browser you want as long as you can find a comparable method. So the first thing you're gonna wanna do is go up here to the corner and you're gonna go down to settings. And then under settings, you're gonna click on extensions over here. And then we're gonna add a new extension. So if you scroll down the bottom, just say get more extensions. Now what you're gonna look for is link redirect trace. Now it's gonna be this guy right here. Now I already have it installed, but you're gonna to wanna to install this plugin. Now once you're done with that plugin, go ahead and close this window, and then under extensions, you're gonna to wanna to go find that plugin down here where it's linked to redirect trace, and you're gonna to wanna to check the box that says allow in incognito. Now this is important because everything we're doing is going to be in an incognito window moving forward, and we need this plugin to function. All right, so now go back to your main Twitter page, and we're gonna go find some porn bots, guys. It's actually really freaking easy to do because they are so all over the place. So I'm gonna go ahead and scroll through and what I'm looking for here to find the porn bots is I'm looking for like tweets uh, that are really old, follows from a single person or a message directly to me that's like derogatory in some way. So I'm gonna scroll through. You can see immediately, boom, there's one, Rita Dodson. Now the reason why I know this is fake is because she's like, let's have a chat, click, don't be shy. And there's that Google link, that redirect link that I was telling you guys about earlier. Now you can see she's just responding to something where I'm talking about retweeting about fighting porn spam bots. Now the reason why she tweeted me directly is because I used the word porn. By me tweeting the word porn, the script that runs that bot told her, oh, quick, this guy might actually be a good mark for clicking on this link. Now, if I click on her profile, now the screen is blurred out because like I said, porn is in my face and you can see it says, I want a hot night, find my name here. So they, they're they trying to lead you on this breadcrumb trail, right? I still think it's pathetic that there's people out there that actually fall for this. Um, it's such a freaking joke, right? So that's one example that I could use, but I wanna show you the other example. So we're gonna keep scrolling. And again, I didn't vet my feed guys. I literally just opened it and I'm scrolling through it and you're gonna see exactly what I mean. Oh, what do we have here? Louise Phillips, right? Okay, the first giveaway is, her name is Louise Phillips, but her uh, Twitter handle is R-E-E-S-V, so Reese V 953X. That seems very auto-generated. So, and you can notice that she's actually liking a tweet that is very, very old. So what I'm gonna do is go ahead and click on her profile, and you can see this one actually isn't as bad as the other one. I don't have to blur this one. It's just some girl wearing some scantily clad clothing. And she's like, oh guys, what are you waiting for? I love to F word as an animal. Oh my God, you can't write this stuff. And what you're gonna wanna do is copy that URL. So right click it and say copy link to address. That's all you wanna do. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna open an incognito window by clicking up here and doing new incognito window. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna post 
that URL into this and this is the incognito window so it prevents the tracking links and stuff like that. So we're gonna go ahead and click that and you're gonna see that uh, we're ultimately redirected to another blurred out page. Now I had to do the blurring and post because there are a lot of very erotic illustrations being cycled in the background right now. Um, and horrible things are happening to Kim Possible that I that, that I can't even describe, honestly. Uh, and you're gonna notice that the URL here is already suspect. It's hard.fwordless.pro. And then you have uh, some tracking information on the end of it that they actually use with their bot uh, to drive things through. So now this is an intermediate page. The entire purpose of this page right here is to launder the link because if they sent the link directly from Twitter, people would know it was a tracking link and the people that were paying them would know that all the links were coming from Twitter and they would investigate and see that they're violating the terms of service. So this this is like they're laundering, uh, the, like the equivalent of laundering money, but for porn links. So I already looked at the code for this page. It does absolutely nothing. You quite literally just keep clicking OK, say yes that you're 21, and just keep clicking next. Don't select any options. You don't have to. I already checked the code. It does nothing. Even this like little progress meter that they're showing right here does absolutely nothing. Now, what's going to happen is it's just going to give you some BS lies, and then it's going to give you one final page that's like, do you accept the rules? Um, you just click agree. Oh, where are we now? Now we're on a page called milftastic.com forward slash dating forward slash bang me. Now by me going through this process, I just gave money to that person. Now the problem is I don't know who I just gave money to. I, I Because there's no tracking information up here in the URL for me to see who had that affiliate link. So that's where that plugin comes in. So now what you're gonna do is after you've gone through this process, come over here and click our little link tracker. And you can see in the link tracker, we have MILFTASTIC here at the bottom, the page where we ended up. Uh, and then here right above it, you have the redirect that contains the tracking information. See the URL here, how it has all this extra information at the end? That's the tracking information. And you can see that it was redirected multiple times. So it started from their fake little web page. So it jumps from there to there to there to there. And so what we wanna do is we wanna look through this information right here. Uh, this is a tracking link. See right here, the best dating offer.com clicks track and you can see LP equals bang me site equals milk taxes sub ID equals seven five four four nine five. So right now we know that this link right here is the user seven four or seven five four four five nine. Now what they're doing is MILFTASTIC is not paying them. They're getting paid by this redirector. It's often the link that's right after that intermediate laundering link that I told you about. So in the dead giveaway is usually when there's a sub ID or an advertiser ID or ID something in the URL. So now you roughly know how to get the tracking information for the person that's getting paid for this, which means now we have access to report them and get their wallet deleted so they don't get paid. Now, one other thing I wanna note is if you go back and click the same link again, now we have a different intermediate site. This one is pkeen.planyournight.link, right? It, it, it's no different. There's tons and tons of different ones that you're gonna encounter, but it's the same process. Just click random options on the page until you get like continue to site. And then like here, you're gonna see, okay, this time uh, it took me to a site called togethertonight.com. And you can see that it took me to an affiliate PHP. And so if I scan through the URL here, I'm looking for identifying information. I don't really see anything that stands out. So we're gonna go over to our link tracker and under the link tracker, you can see up here that it's, uh, here you go, UTM source equals CPA, MD is 64, UTM medium is web, UTM campaign, THDOIC, these are all different each time. But the important information that you wanna keep is basically the entire URL when you report it because you're not sure which one of these numbers uh, pertains to the person that it's paying out. And this is how they track, they're called tracking links. This is how they track um, the, the information that's being driven to them. Uh, or track the traffic that's being driven to them so that they can pay the person, uh, in this case, illegally. So you're doing them a favor by reporting it because they're not paying out uh, ad revenue to people that aren't generating real links from real interested people that are honestly presented. And you're helping detour spam bots on Twitter because if everybody knows this practice and reports them, they can't make any money at all. All right, so now that we have the URL containing the tracking information, or like I showed you on the other page where it didn't show you the tracking information in the URL and you had to get it from the link redirect trace, get that link 
uh, no matter how you have to get it, just go ahead and get it from here or here. So usually I scroll to the bottom of the page and you can click on like customer service, uh, usually has a link, or you can click on terms of service or the about page. Anyways, go to any of these pages and then just ser search for an ad symbol and you'll find some email addresses. Like there you have legal at dateprofits.com, legal at dateprofits, support. Wait, I saw a support one or help at, at date, uh, dateprofits.com. So I'm gonna go ahead and copy this guy right here. So that's a good starting point. Now I realize that this takes a lot of work in some cases, guys, but realize all you have to do is get one email to them to where they go and investigate this and find that that person's generating thousands of links and none of those thousands of links are leading to an actual subscription and they will ban that account forever. And it's harder for them to be able to create new PayPal accounts because that requires more uh, validation to get paid than it is to create the Twitter account. So you're actually becoming a huge thorn in their side. And that's what we want to do. All right, so now I'm gonna open up my email here and I'm gonna send a message to help at dataprofits.com and I'm gonna go ahead and just paste it here for safekeeping. And I'm gonna, I'm just gonna put the title in here, reporting fraud. And then I'm just gonna create a nice little message. Hello, I just wanted to report that the below link is being posted on Twitter via using a redirect page to mislead your tracking system for payment. Payment from false generated traffic. Please determine who user ID 72880653 is with your affiliate advertising tracking system and terminate them for breach of terms of service. I will be reporting more links as I find them, but currently Twitter is completely flooded with spam bots claiming that a link leading to your client or leading to your affiliate is actually a link to a single lady that wants to meet men, which is completely wrong. And hell, just, just, for, just for good measure, I'm gonna go ahead and snip, I'm gonna use my snipping tool. You don't have to do all this. I'm just for due diligence on this one. I'm gonna go ahead and copy that information and I'm gonna go ahead and paste that in there also. And then I'll put down the other, I'll say, please let me know if there is a better person to contact in the future for reporting these breaches, uh, reporting these spamming bots, or these are misleading spamming bots. Thank you. Now I'm gonna go ahead and leave in all my information here because I'm making a video on it. I want them to find this video and see what I'm doing just in case any of the porn sites happen to be in on this. And then once you're all done with the reporting uh, of the fraud, then you can go back and actually click on report and then just say uh, their account may be hacked because in this case, it doesn't look like the account name lines up with the name or you can do their posting spam. I'll, I'll just do posting spam here, click next and then click block. Now, what hopefully this is gonna do is we reported them for the fraud that they're committing against the advertisement company. So the advertisement company is paying somebody for generating all these thousands of bots and they don't even realize that these bots are doing it because of the way the bots are laundering those links. But now we don't know who the person is that owns that affiliate link, but the person that we just emailed will undoubtedly know who that affiliate link belongs to or they will forward the message on to their advertisement company that tracks all of those links and makes the payments. Because these porn companies obviously don't wanna pay out thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars for clicks that are falsely generated. Now look, I just went back to my Twitter page and already down here, you have uh, Ann Haley right here, again, scandal clad, uh, came home from training, tired wildly, click here, don't be shy. And again, it's Xander and I are having a man day, mama is gone, so we're, so we're eating what we want and refusing to get dressed. This is a really old tweet. So again, just responding to really old tweets, trying to get attention. And there you go again, another topless woman, want vulgar young man, I'm here, click link. It's the same process for all these guys. All right, so we went ahead and reported two of them. It actually gets a lot faster depending on the sites. And if you wanna keep attacking the same person, what you do is just open up one of the links and just keep typing in that Google uh, redirect link. Just push enter, refresh, enter, refresh, enter, refresh, and walk through the page. Each time it's gonna redirect you to a different site because they do like a round robin approach to generate traffic to different sites and to further uh, kind of uh, hide what they're trying to do. So if you keep clicking, keep reporting, click, keep clicking, keep reporting for the same person, you're gonna take a lot of money out of their wallet. Now, if you realize that these accounts are literally tweeting tens of thousands, if not hundreds of thousands of people a day, each one of these accounts that you're shutting down equates to literally tens of thousands of dollars in revenue that you're taking away from these guys. And once they realize that this is happening, then they're gonna have to basically fall back to a more legitimate technique. And it's not gonna benefit them to create bots on Twitter anymore. 
anymore. The reason that the bots exist so much on Twitter is because it's hugely profitable and they think that they're hidden because of the redirect links and hoops that they jump through. They think that there's no way to track it back. But unfortunately, in order to get ad revenue, it's always tracked back to the source and you just have to know where to look. And now you know where to look. And now you know some of the tactics that I use through who is and stuff like that to find a point of contact for the site that's being scammed and ultimately get them shut down. This is very, very similar to how we shut down techfly.com by having everybody report them for fraud to the credit card processor, and then the credit card processor closed down their account and froze their assets. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video, and I hope that you make it your mission to go out and shut down some of these spam bots. Also realize that when you attack a single bot, you're not actually attacking a single bot, you're attacking thousands, if not tens of thousands of bots that are all linked and connected using those same accounts to get money from those advertisers through fraudulent means. So guys, if you have any further questions, come over and tweet me on Twitter. I am at Barnacles, please no spam bots. And also down below in the comments, you can ask your questions. Also be sure to check the video description. I often have common answers to the most common questions there in the video description as I observe them so I don't have to keep answering them over and over and over again. Thank you guys for watching this incredibly blurred out video. I hope everything made sense and I'm really, really, really looking forward to these people being taken down. And guys, please, by all means, if you're successful and these companies reply back and say that they've disabled the advertiser, they've shut them down, please, please share those screenshots with me over on Twitter. I will be eternally grateful. All right, guys, on to the next thing. Until next time. Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please take a moment and subscribe to my channel. It helps me a lot. Also come over to Twitter. I'm at Barnacles. I'm a real social guy. Also, if you have a couple of minutes, check out some of these many other videos. I made them myself.